Hey guys, different video today. You see this condensation is such a huge like thing that Teslas seem to get. And I took this to the dealership, the Tesla service center, and they told me that it's not a warranty problem because there's cracks in the tail light. Now I don't see any visible cracks anywhere. This is a, a like a two-way breathable filter thing, gets the moisture out. So we're going to take that off. I'm going to reseal it with some electrical liquid tape. I'm going to try myself to get that condensation out. So hopefully this works out. First time I've ever tried to do this. And let's see how we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this blue sticker. That's extremely important that we put it back on because that gets the moisture out of the tail light, but not in. So we've really got to be very careful when we peel it off. You'll see a little hole. Uh, need, to, need to be very careful with this one. All right, guys, so I've peeled it just so we can see the hole. Now we're going to put an air, a hair dryer in there. <laughs> Well guys, we tried the hair dryer for a good probably 10 minutes. You can see a little bit of condensation in the top part. One little dot here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and put it in the oven uh, for a low heat, about 50 degrees Celsius, because you don't want to obviously melt the plastic. So let's see what results we get from that. Oh, I know it looks funny with the the tail light in the oven, but that's on low heat. So we're going to monitor it every so often. Um, and hopefully this gets the condensation out. We are cooking the night. Good boy. Okay, so it was in the oven for an hour. You could see it's quite dry. And what we're going to do is, I think some condensation is going to build up in this corner here. So we're going to get some electrical liquid tape. We're just going to go around the edge to just try to see if it's going to seal up correctly. I've done a visual inspection. I don't see no cracks or anything. But we're just going to run a bead of that, just where that black line goes around. So we're going to run a bead between the two. So you guys can see at the bottom there. A little bit of condensation is building up again, so we're going to run this bead across. Try and do it with the camera. So I think it's coming from this corner of the light. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to put this liquid stuff on. And there's a crack here as well. So we're going to put that liquid tape just on there as well. This stuff cures pretty quick. So instead of buying a whole new light, we're just going to see if we can repair it ourselves. So, well, Condensation's pretty much gone, so hopefully that will do it. I have to test it when it's out in the car, but that is, yeah, a lot better than what it was before. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that uh, that works. We need to make sure that we seal this uh, this hole back up. So we're going to use the liquid tape. Okay, stuff we're using. Just gonna put a little drop, not much. Ooh, you, you get too much. <laughs> it's very important that that is sealed up because that works as getting the moisture out of the tail light. 
So we need to make sure that seal is on. Let that set for a bit. And then hopefully this has worked well. So the signs look pretty good. I'm not seeing any moisture in there. So hopefully it stays like that. Now, it's gonna be raining soon, so that'll obviously test it, but it, it's looking good. So a lot better than before. Hopefully this guys helps you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's the next morning. Look at that. No condensation. It seems like it's worked, but time will tell, but I'm happy, so. Hopefully this helps you out and thanks for watching.